I put away my sword in such a way that I could run faster and perhaps get places quickly. I found that my short sword was actually, well, quite short, really. That was to be expected, but I was hoping for a little more reach out of the thing. However, I guess if your short swords are short, there's nothing much you can do for them. Swords don't really grow over time. They are not like children as much as I may like to treat them as such. I saw the island which I had drawn was dead ahead of me. That was the one where I attempted to pick the lily pads and realized that they were quite worthless. Also had some serious mushrooms on it, which I quickly gathered. Hmm. I wondered what it was that had drawn me to to this island. Some silly childhood drawing was the best answer I could come up with, and I sort of felt foolish for going here. However, there was a hollow log. Hmm. So, inside of the hollow tree stump, I found that I had left a sword for myself, or specifically a dagger. It did not qualify as a sword such a small and pathetic blade. Now the real question was, how did I come to be in possession of it, and why did my amnesia not allow me to remember it? Hmm. Another, perhaps, interesting question would be... Where is this place to which the inscription on the blade refers, and what kind of an egomaniac would put his name on his blade? None of this made any sense, so I decided to continue forward and venture towards the green marker on my map, as apparently that is where the town which I su suck? Seek? Was? Probably? Possibly? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh. As I trudged along the forest floor, I sincerely wished there was a horse somewhere for me to steal, and most certainly not to purchase. However, I did not see one, but before I left this town, I decided to investigate the one place in it that I had not yet been. An old hut, with a bed and a wardrobe in it. Hmm. Indeed, I found myself ten gold richer, which was always nice, as well as several things that could be sold for a decent amount of money. This really was an odd assortment of things to keep in a hut. But then again, I guess this man was truly odd. Hmm, no, I would not pray before I left. Religion is for weaklings, and I am no weakling. That man stood there, still taunting me with the fact that I had accepted the quest of a crazy man over him. Well... Habt keine Angst, aber genügend Furcht, um im Kampf keine Dummheiten zu machen. So, this wizard is quite proud of surviving his time in the army. Hmm, always nice. Anyways, after talking to my master for one last time and him warning me not to be stupid, uh, presumably because he would like me to be alive, I decided to leave and venture out further into the world. Erinx Stonefield Sanctum. So, Stonyfield would be that way, where I saw a goblin attacking a man. A man who walked with his axe and faced forward. This hideous creature could only be described with one word, goblin. And as I killed him, I found that he carried upon him an iron short sword and not much else. Ich habe mehrere Leute sagen hören. So this man yet again hates the elves. Ein. Ihr habt euch eines Verbrechen. Hmm. 
So, by helping this man to get rid of his goblin, I have committed a crime and therefore was sentenced to my time in jail. I was also stripped of none of my stolen possessions and did not have the lockpicks necessary to pick the evidence chest which was close enough for me to pick. I questioned their jail cell design, but then decided it was for the better, for I knew how to get out of here. If need be. Hmm. Most strange indeed, the soldier seems to have taken me to Gilead, where I did not really want to be at all. However, I found that I could very easily. Oh ye, oh ye, that sieht gar nicht gut aus. Seid kommt schon. Jetzt schaut nicht so. Ich sehe doch ganz genau, wie ihr euch. Aber ich weiß ganz genau, was ihr dagegen tun könnt. Ganz genau. Ihr braucht jemanden, der euch das Laufen ab. Nun gut, wie ihr. A man came up to me in a most peculiar way and told me that I was sweaty and toiling and that I should buy a donkey from him. Quite preposterous, really, when I can steal that very same donkey. Hmm. I found the message of a rebel hanging next to several fish. Perhaps this sent me the message that the rebels were sleeping with the fishes. Most curious indeed. I decided to track onwards through the wilderness towards the place where I had set out to reach. However, I quickly became distracted by walking through a pretty uniform forest, densely populated with leaves and trees, having absolutely no sense of direction. I did find some old ruins, though. Nothing really interesting going on around them in particular. Several crates and a rusty iron warhammer. Some tobacco, a fire ruby, and some gold. Pretty useful, actually. I take my words back. Hmm. I found a door to the ruins and I decided to go explore them on a whim. I felt that there would be many dangers inside, but possibly some rewards as well. For certainly nobody abandons... Crap. Oh, sh God. Bloody hell. Yes. Uh, well... I do not know what to say. Perhaps I needed to be stronger before going forth and conquering this challenge. <laughs> this man was certainly skilled with a sword and could summon demons and fireballs at will. I decided that it would perhaps be best to run the hell away from here before I got into further trouble. Perhaps later when I learned some sort of a useful spell, or got some better equipment, I could do well. I saw a Keeper of the Flame and decided to see what would happen if I were to assault him. He did not really seem to mind particularly much, so I decided to press on with my assault. After a while, he became wise to my plan and tried to run away for a brief moment before running back at me. Having taken the flying monstrosity out, I looked upon it. The poor thing seemed as if it were fused with some sort of a metal cuirass. Sad indeed, but I decided to leave this castle and perhaps bookmark it for a later adventure. Also found a magically glowing stag that attacked me when I approached. This was indeed a scary world. 
for everything seemed to be out to kill me. Bloody hell. And the deer were much more resilient than flying imps and summoned creatures. However, nothing was quite as tough as that magician which I had thought to conquer in the castle. Hmm. Perhaps this thing was equally tough, though. I decided not to take my chances and to cast a blessing upon myself. Before destroying the deer and finding two units of game inside of it. I sheathed my thorn and continued forward on my path to reach a town which I had never been to, or didn't even really know anything about besides an inscription on a broken dagger. Sometimes I questioned my intellect, but then I remembered that I was Alucard the Alchemist, and nothing could possibly happen to me. Because I was important. Very, very important. I found myself near another lake, fighting a cat-like creature. A mountain lion in this case. This creature was much easier to kill than the deer, thankfully, and I managed to procure a hide from his body, which would always come in handy. As I continued on towards what I could only assume was the town which I was looking for, I healed myself as much as I could. Not very much, mind you. But it was the best that I could do with the limited amount of magic that I knew. Perhaps I should seek out the wizards before I started doing any of this crazy adventuring. That would have been the smart choice. However, Alucard the Alchemist is not smart. He is wise. Wise beyond his years. I would assume. Hmm. Indeed. I found a man on a horse with what appeared to be a bird. Or if looked at from the right angle, a bug catcher. Interesting stuff, really. Hmm. I found a town which I was looking for, the stone field. With one of my chests in it. Right across from a farmhouse. Hmm. Interesting. I would need to find where the smith of this place lay. Perhaps this woman could help me. No, she could not help me, but she had pointy ears and thus was elvish. Clearly, I had no choice but to despise her. I saw another one of those diseased deer wandering around outside. I thought perhaps these roosters should not be so free to wander. What if that deer were to befall them? What would these people do without their roosts? Roosts. I would assume that that is the proper term for roosters in plural. Hmm. Roosts. I saw two cloaked travelers with swords. And they yet again seemed to hate the elves. I did not know what to say to them. But they turned back and left before we could have any sort of proper conversation. Seems like the elves are not very popular in this world at all. I decided to visit the tavern and see if I could find out anything from the locals there. Steinfeld is ein Was möchtet ihr I talked to a patriot and a man who tried to sell me things. And another elf chick. Hmm, this appears to be a town of hippie elves. Living peacefully in the forest and yet another woman who tried to sell me something. I was not entirely happy to say. And spoke to a man who didn't want any trouble. And elf chicks that wanted to do things for me. Hmm, yes. 